Alrighty. Well, it looks like you got some innards here, Gail. I got some heavy metal going on. <laughs> heavy metal. Actually, not heavy metal. We wanted Rocky to show like the difference <laughs> the difference between a thermal block and, and an actual boiler. boiler. Okay. Now, this <laughs> happens to come out of the Breville double Dual boiler. boiler. Yeah. Yeah, Breville was kind enough, we should say, to send us a few innards for yep. this video. So, this is the boiler for the steam side. Mm -hmm. Always larger. Yes. Always has, you know, it's not always, it's it's only three quarter full and blah, 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 and it creates all the steam. So, within this, these are the leads, and down inside is a coil, you know, a heating element. Okay. Like you have inside your hot water heater at home. Mm hmm So, water goes in, it's cold, comes out, it's hot. So, it's really basic, and it stores it. It keeps it at a certain temperature. So, that builds up this pressure, so you've got this steam on demand. It's a lot of force for yep. you. Yeah, it's always ready. Okay. Right? And this is the boiler for the brew side, and this is the brew head. It sits right on top of the brew head. And I took this apart on purpose to see what was under here. This is the coil that heats the, keeps the brew head at a constant temperature. And again, this has a heating element inside of it. Mm -hmm. If I go like that, I can feel it jiggling in there. <laughs> and this is a thermostat that registers the temperature on the outside of the boiler to keep it. It'll, it'll make the uh, electricity kick in and out, in and out. To, for that uh, in that PID interface. Yep. Okay. Exactly. So, stainless steel, stainless steel. Cool. Very basic, you know. So boiler is a boiler is a boiler, and it this looks to be I'm gonna guess about ten ounces or so. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing though. So don't hold me to it, folks. All right. Then there's well, the thermal block. Yeah. And what a thermal block does is it heats the water on the fly. Okay. This is one out of a Serena that we saw it apart. Thank you, Patrick. Mm-hmm. I asked him to do that for me. I don't want to get my hands dirty. Anymore. No. No. No, we don't want to get you hurt, Gail. Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is a on the on this particular one. This is the heating element. Okay. Like you see one side, out the other side, or not two leads. This is where the water comes goes through here in this chamber right here and there's the heating element right next to it. Okay. As the water goes in one end and out the other, it gathers heat from this and it's doing it on the fly. It does not store it. And is this for the steam? This is for the steam side. Okay. On the um, on the brew boiler on the Serena, there is a small chamber. Okay, so it has a boiler for the brew but then the steam so uh, we and that you see commonly on super autos as well, where you'll have a st area for yep. um, like Seiko, they'll have a little brew boiler, and mm -hmm. then they'll have that rapid steam system right, exactly. as well. Right, exactly. Boom, boom, the boom, little soldiers. Boom, boom. <laughs> right. Now okay. this is a Breville. This is the old style Breville thermal block. Same. Mm -hmm. like, this has a Teflon coating to keep <clears throat> keep your uh, calcium buildup down to a minimum. Although we have, we do have some. Ste Stephanie said, I'm going to send you one with, with a little some bit of scale. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see those holes in there. There's a hole there and mm -hmm. a hole there corresponding to over here. Okay. Water comes in, goes through all these little chambers and goes out. And I don't know which is the in and the out. It doesn't make any difference, but it collects heat from this. And here's the leads and there's a coil in here that heats up. So, um, Phil from Breville said, like, the cons of this are obviously, it's two pieces, and so that's one leaky of the big reasons. Tiki. Leaky and not as great uh, temperature consistency because of that. Yes. Um, so what they did... What they did was, here's the new and improved. Yeah. This is one, they saw this apart for us. Thank you very much. And this Again, is, this I don't is get technically my a thermocoil. This is a thermocoil. This... If you look at this, the first time I opened it, I said, what the heck is that white stuff? This mm -hmm. is the electric, this is the actual heating element. Okay. Goes around and around and around and around. This is the, where the water chamber it goes in one end, out the other. Okay. And it's like a spiral. It goes, you know, it goes down. Now, if you look real carefully, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it on film, this is stainless steel lined yeah. aluminum. You, you can, can see there's a lining in there. You kind of see a little bit different uh, color to it, yeah. Yep. So that's how that works. And this is one unit. You don't have any seals. You don't have any gaskets to leak, and it's, you know, so just, these it's more are, efficient. Yeah, more efficient, better temperature stability. Mm -hmm. The only con of this, right, is that it costs more to make than I'm sure this does. guy. But um, They went the extra yard. Yeah, so they're going to start introducing this guy soon. Um, we're not sure of ETA on that, but that right? they'll start having it in um, future models, yeah. hopefully sometime this year. So. so here's the electric leads on this, too, and so you get got the 
electric side where your heating element is, mm -hmm. and this is where the water goes and goes around and around, and out she comes. Hot, cool, cool. All right, it is cool. So um, those are the those are. The, whoop. Whoa. So even if these are the Breville boilers, any machine that has a boiler generally is going to kind of have the Function same the story. Same way. And you know, we could, uh, we'll probably do a story on boilers and we'll get, a, you know, like a silver one. So we can get some other boilers and, and we'll show. The copper one and we'll get a, I think we should do a thermoblock, uh, not a thermoblock, but a uh, heat exchanger. We can show that. Mm -hmm. we and the, do we even have any aluminum boiler machines anymore? No. No. We do not. We do not. No. All right, cool. So that is um, sort of the rundown, brief uh, primer on thermo blocks, thermo coils, boilers, mm -hmm. all that jazz. Oh, earrings. Oh, what yeah. What do you think? Gorgeous, Gail. It's me. It is. <laughs> I know you love your jewelry. <laughs> Bling. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gail. You're welcome. See you later.